York. Throughout history, a focal point of trade, commerce and craft. A city that has seen its prestige rise and fall over the centuries, acting as a platform upon which many episodes of British history have been played out. The Street of Stonegate holds a central position in the narrative of the city since its birth during the Roman occupation. Using archival and archaeological evidence, we will explore the realities of day-to-day -day life on the street through our definitive periods in York's history. Ten thousand Roman soldiers marched north to quell rebellious northern tribes in AD 71 in order to establish the base of York. Therefore they built a massive fortress, the first permanent settlement on site. The town grew across the river, from the fort trading with and attracting people from all over the Roman Empire. Even emperors lived and died here. The town prospered for over 300 years. Six feet below the current pavement lies the Roman Via Pretoria, which connected the basilica at the centre of the fortress to the bridge over the River Ouse and the civilian settlement on the other side. Well, the origins of the layout of York go back to the Roman period uh, and the Minster is on the site of the Principia building of the Roman fortress. Stonegate is on the line of one of the original Roman roads in the fortress of York. So that legacy may well have survived through to the medieval period. One of the reasons that the name uh, Stonegate, which means the paved street, uh, may survive is that there may have been uh, Roman remains or Roman road surfaces surviving through to the medieval period. This Roman column is one of the only remaining examples of the fort structures. It once stood within the great hall of the headquarters of the 6th Legion Fortress. It would have been one of many which would have stood in the direction of the current street that intersects Stonegate in front of the Minster. Lucius Rufinus, standard bearer to the 9th Legion, son of Gaul, and builder of the fortress of Eboricum, perhaps he laid the very stone branded with the stamp of the Legion. He was an ambitious man, travelling 800 miles in search of honour, adventure and wealth, with part of his journey taking him through Stonegate, the stepping stones towards the once location of the Roman fort. He is only recorded today through his impressive tombstone as seen in the Yorkshire Museum. The Emperor Septimus Severus died in York in AD 211. He personally led a military expedition north of Hadrian's Wall, utilising York as his winter headquarters. His efforts resulted in the Caledonian surrender in 209 AD. It was the glorious military victory he had endeavoured. His son, Caracalla, took over from his father in 211 following his death in Eboricum. Artifacts such as his fantastically preserved pot uncovered on Priory Street, York, illustrate Caracalla's northern African roots and also show long-distant links of trade and style. Constantine was proclaimed the new pagan Roman Emperor in 306 AD while in York on a military campaign. York was Rome's northern military command headquarters. This stone head of Constantine is one of the most notable artefacts uncovered during excavations at Stonegate. <laughs> 